This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, and additional support from Latino Public Broadcasting, National Endowment for the Arts, National Asian American Telecommunications Association, and others. A complete list is available from PBS. And contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. appropriate for you to be standing in the back doing this. It's like I wasn't standing. First of all, I was sitting and all I was doing, this is this is how I want my senior class, this is how they see me. This is how they remember me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be just another mindless robot sitting there posing for the picture like everybody else. That's how that picture looks. We're all seniors and we, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I want, I want people to see me as an individual, just not another face in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't see how this was an obscene gesture or a disruption or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because all my people didn't feel disrupted, and they made that very clear when they yanked me out the crowd, you know what I'm saying? How can I not walk the stage for throwing up the fist, and how can you pull me out the senior year picture for being me, you know what I'm saying? When you're trying to catch a picture of me, I'm going to be me. If you're going to take my picture, I'm going to be me in that picture, okay. you know? Are you done? Yeah, I'm done, for right now. If that were your picture, baby, just you, I wouldn't care what you do. You can do this, this, you know, it's yours. Mm -hmm. That picture belongs to everyone, honey. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. That picture belongs to 400 kids. 
You pulled the focus and made that picture about you, yeah. and that's why it's wrong. The thing I want to share with you that's different about a political movement and manners are, manners have existed since the beginning of time. They haven't changed. And the only thing that you need to know manners for is to make a decision on your own of whether you want to abide by those manners or not. Because unbeknownst to you, people are judging you by how you look. You got a very powerful name. You got to step up to it. And part of being united isn't sticking out. It isn't pulling the focus and saying, look at me, I'm an individual. It's blazing from within. Because if you're there, if you're coming from your heart space, baby, you're a powerful entity, and I know you are. What she was saying to me, just be cool, you know what I'm saying, and go along with it. But then all the other times, you know, just, just shine from within, you know what I'm saying? But how are you going to just shine from within, you know what I'm saying? How is anybody going to see that, you know what I'm saying? It's like... How was that gonna inspire anybody to shine too? You know what I'm saying? What's the deal, man? I was in office. I totally feel where she's coming from because that's her views and I respect that. Just like people should respect me for being who I am. You know what I'm saying? I respect her views and I respect her for being who she is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna be me though, regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna always be me, you know? I wanna work on my portfolio so I can, well, I'm gonna try to get accepted to the Art Institute of Chicago. That's my dream school. What about the uh, Art Institute? So you're not doing no. at all? Well, well not, I'm, nah, not, not this semester. I know it's not Maria's school. I love her. I wanna stay with her. I wanna find a school that's good for both of us. What is that, man? It's a map of Nevada. Incline Village, it's right there. I like Tahoe. So you think you'll be going over there? Mm -hmm. I just want to go out of the state, man. I never have been out. And being out there on my own, that'd be something really cool. Look at that nice view, man. This is Freshman's Lake. We are about 20 miles away from Reno, Nevada. From LA, we are about maybe about 500 miles away. campus which is up the street a little bit in the new building there's gonna be like a tuning shop so you can get your snowboards you know like tuned up and stuff in there there's gonna be a gym in there how much do the, the dorms go like for a double room is like 3500 for the year that's double if you share room. a room that's if you share a room with somebody else do they have co-ed no it's gonna it's co-ed but not within the rooms you guys couldn't get your own room unless you were married we're getting married you're getting married how is your uh, photography department? We actually have a pretty cool photography department, and Russ is actually one Hi. of our photography yeah. teachers. So, um, Hi, Maria. Hi. 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 How many uh, enlargers do you have? Like, what's your uh, facility? About eight. Seven eight. Or eight yeah. How many it's a pretty people? Small dark room. How many people uh, usually in a class? The average class is about twelve people. We usually just do um, bisque firings in here and some low fire glaze firings, and then. Um, we put the bisque ware out here and then they glaze it up and they're in the process of loading up the high fire kill today. Okay. And you're visiting a lot of colleges? No, just no. this one. Just this one? We are so special. How did you choose us? We like the student-teacher ratio. I like the acceptance rate. I like the environment. It's different from where we're from. I like... I like the photography. I, I like this. The fact that we can do this makes are me really are happy. You arts? Are you looking at the arts? We're both artists. If you're in art, this is the place. The classes are small, the people are friendly. This looks amazing. I could paint all day, man. You wanna go here? Yes. With me? Yes. You sure? With me, right? No other little white girls running around here. 
I mean, you are going to be like one of the only brown men here. They might like that. You look up and you don't see buildings. You see like beautiful mountains and all around you too. There's mountains everywhere. I like it. It's getting cold, man. I'm going inside. Nah, man, I was trying to get to you. Shut the door, man. <laughs> you want to do that again? Yeah, man. <laughs> it's getting cold. Shit, I'm going inside. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't know if he's going to be able to hang around, you know, with all my shit. What do you mean? Just the shit I give him. What would you do without me? I'd have more time to paint. Did you hear that, Jerry? Okay, my sweeties. I think we're ready to go. Here's, we know it's real hot, so we need you to pay real close attention. Thank you, Spirit, for that little breeze. We need every breeze we can get. No, we don't need to see paper airplanes. If you're going to do that, I'm not going to start. Hello, my name is Jerry Hooks, and I'm a Mac and Don't worry about it. We're not using the sound system. You guys are too slow. This is not the sound system we're using tomorrow, so don't worry if you can't hear it. They will hear it in Beverly Hills tomorrow. So where do you really want to go to college? Is this where you really want to go? I'd like, I'd like to go to Berkeley, but if I get into Harvard, I'm not going to say that. I think Berkeley would be the school that I'd really like to go to. Berkeley's the top contender. What, second? Um, suicide by hanging. Or are you sure you don't just want to stay here and become part of the faculty? You know, I'd love to. The thing is, you, you need some sort of credentials, I heard, and that's just going to stand in my way. What about you, Boris, after Berkeley? You know that old phrase, Berkeley or bust? Like, I don't want to go to college. I feel like I'm not ready to go. What would you do instead? I just think I'm, I, I think I'm just more scared. I probably am scared. Scared of what? I'm scared to go to college and screw up truthfully. <laughs> I am going to college. I'm going to UC Riverside and I want to do something with arts and humanities. Let me find it. At USC, and it was an art contest, and they displayed our pictures or whatever, our art, and what we, would, what we think about sustainability or how we can improve it. This is supposed to be LA, and this is supposed to be China or any other developing country. And this is like a little boy. And the thing is, we're educated. We have the education. We have the money. And then, and then, like sometimes, like we blame other countries for um, being so bringing all the pollution on onto the earth and everything. But you know, we also need to take responsibilities. So it's about a boy, and he's reading. But he doesn't have the education. But he found the book, and then he's reading it. And he's just like, he doesn't understand it. Because I've never like entered a con um, contest like this before, where um, like you get to see other people's um, work, and you know, you see your own work in a little picture frame, and it's cool. I can say I'm an artist, if someone asks me. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> My SAT score is not up to par or whatever. So they saying that it's like a possibility, a great chance that I'm gonna be able to go to a big time college and play football. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm like kind of depressed about that because I have my whole mind. I mean, that was my whole thing. I had my mind set on um, playing football or whatever. Now it's like um, my dreams are fading away or whatever. It's absolutely out of question that you're gonna play football. I mean, I, I still have my doubts about giving it up completely because it's like everybody say I should still play. But it's like, I'm, I ain't trying to keep doing that, and if it ain't gonna work out for me, I might do? as well do something else. Just go to school, let's get an education. Cause I mean, I just seen too many dudes keep trying and trying and trying, and once they realize they like almost 30, still trying to play football. I mean, most cats in the NFL only play five or six years. So I mean, I want to get paid a different type of way. 
Because they can always take that away from you. If you go to school for something, it's in your head. I plan to study kinesiology, which is a physical therapist. And then I also intend to go to medical school to become a doctor. Um, I know it's not going to be easy, but who said life was easy? So you nervous? Yes, very okay. nervous. Um, because I'm not, I don't know. It's like, it's, this is something really new and different. I would like to welcome you to Cal State Long Beach. We're really looking forward to working with you and inspiring you and motivating you to go on further to get your master's degrees and PhDs. We want you to aspire to, to higher things. We want you to be the bosses out there. This is where I'm going, all right? Occidental College. Well, I wanted to go to Berkeley, but they gave me the uh, Got into UCLA. Got rejected from Berkeley. Nice to see UCLA. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, Boris. Yeah, that's me. Let's go to Berkeley next year, right? No, no, go to uh, UCLA. Uh, I left it up to the college just to decide. <laughs> Are you open to the possibility that you might meet new people? I don't think I want to make any close relationships, but I think I'll definitely meet new people. It'll be great. Maybe I'll meet somebody who's a hell of a lot more like me than anybody else that I've met so far, so... Or maybe it's it'll be someone who's completely different and changes my whole outlook on life. Yes, Brian, yes, please, please. please. The most talented seniors at Fairfax, Debbie Quinteros and Unity Lewis. All right, how are you going to pose, huh? Yeah. Be talented. Done. Thank you. So, so Unity, you, did you make the yearbook? Did I make it? I was supposed to be my most talented. Remember, I took the picture and everything. I think you were there. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? Because <laughs> the original picture is I'm standing next to her. What they take unity out the damn talented picture? Who the hell is Diego Albany Yasodos? Yeah, any pictures of you? Nope. None. Not even a senior picture. None. There will be a podium right here. The crisscross is exactly what you did yesterday in the theater with the A row going out to that top of that T. You see that T over there? You gotta climb down in front of me. I can't do extra audio. Get somewhere. Extra audio? I can't do it. What is that? I can't hear people talking. Talk. We are gonna come and stand by your row when it's time for you to stand. So you gotta pay attention to us. Otherwise, you'll be going blah, 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 getting up in all different orders. So the question is today, do I want to go to college? Everyone's been asking me that question, and it's now becoming a very intense moment right now in my life, where uh, we're getting to college is now not just a, a goal, but now it's like, I have to. I was talking to some guy in Vermont who had a friend who went to Linden State, and he, he recommended that I go to Linden instead of Johnson. I got accepted to Linden State College yesterday, and I'm just waiting for Johnson's reply. I didn't get accepted to Johnson State College. They said I wasn't academically ready, which is fine. I don't need them. They can keep Johnson. And I'll just go to Linden. I don't want to go to Vermont or Virgin. <laughs> Do you see my new things like Virgin for life? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm going to a state where, like, uh, it's legal to marry same sexes. Oh, that's <laughs> right! That's, that's right! right. There you go! Okay. You have that. <laughs> Does that freak you out? No, I think I'll be like, hey, you're from Hollywood? I'll be like, yeah, this is my girl. Yeah, it's gonna be funny. Does anybody own me a book in this class? Jacqueline, is that what's going on this experience in English? 
Uh -huh. A lot of times seniors go through this kind of mode where it, like, they have a fear of going off to college and so they start yeah, to sabotage. Not, I really want to go. I drink Red Bull and it's not, work, it's not working with me because I'm just like falling asleep because I'm kind of like in this depressed mood and overwhelmed and when I get like that I just like... Shut down? Yeah. And I'd love to see you walk across the stage and get your diploma. Yeah, so would I. Okay. So English is the only thing that's kind of stopping you. That's the one class you absolutely have to pass mm -hmm. to get a high school diploma. Regardless of graduating and going on to college, you can't even get your high school diploma without passing English. What about Jacqueline? She's a brilliant artist. She's really a talent. Does she do good in your class? No. She can, but she doesn't. Um, I read two books which you've mostly all heard the plots about. I read Nana and Memoirs of a Geisha. We also had an extra credit, but it was a video. So um, I did it with Helen and Elizabeth. Hi, I'm going to listen to a uh, presentation. So we take the two main characters from Memoirs of a Geisha and Nana, and the main character from one of the novels, which is Native Son. And um, we made it into like an idea of a movie and we made the trailer for the movie. Nana, the French prostitute, envious of love and wicked to those who are in love. The Yuri, the geisha, searching for love and a lifelong companion. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and bigger, in fear of all that is good to him. traditional girl. <laughs> Sandy Booby! I'm doing that! Girl, oh no, oh no, Bendeja! Girl, I know more Spanish words that I can tell you. Don't make me use them. <laughs> Want more? She's like, I'm Mexican, I'm Russian, okay? Puto. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, who are you? Like, sometimes you're white and sometimes you're Italian, but you can't, oh. Yeah, I'm Jennifer. I don't know. Listen, much I'm about white Mexico. when I want to be, and yeah, I'm Mexican, Mexican when I want to be, and I'm Russian when I want to be. Jen wants to have sex with Caesar. I bet he'd be good in bed. Not that I would ever like have sex. <laughs> no! You're with my chastity <laughs> belt. I'm tired of kissing guys that don't mean anything. That to don't you. mean anything to me. Yeah. You that, kiss somebody that means. Something. Yeah, I, and I, I'd like them to. I would like for them to like. Feels for me to me mean something for them too. And since I know like, for example, a guy like Caesar, he's a gentleman. And like basically I, I think, I don't know. Ah, we're gonna talk about feeling ugly on the Jennifer show. I mean, everybody feels ugly here and there, but I feel more stupid than I feel I feel so stupid all the time. You're very attractive, you're very to yourself, so it's like, oh, little misconceited, yeah. so a lot of people think. I, I just, I can't relate to this shit. I mean, I'm trying. I mean, I say that I feel unattractive, and I usually only feel fat, you know? I know that if I was thin, fuck, watch the fuck out, you know? Should I know I'm hot? And I have a man who fucking makes me feel that way all the time. So, I, I don't know. It. Yeah, he's fucking hot. Look at that shit.
music or whatever our part is, it gets mixed up, goes together. I have no power. Hello. 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 Oh. Let's twist it. You can't twist this. Because I tried this like. So what do you think of all the hairstyles that Seth has through the year? He's had like 20,000 different kinds. First he was bald, then because he like I'm had spikes, satisfied. then he had different colors. Then Because I'm not satisfied. I think you're just not at peace with your inner self. I know. <laughs> be a model like end up like my face in a food cart you know like in a milk carton you know have you seen me or something those aren't models jet those are lots of children i know where do you see yourself in 10 years <laughs> as a psychologist most likely a child psychologist sitting down in my little office toys all around listening to some some four-year-old just sitting there like interesting yeah <laughs> as soon as I close the door see that little sign that says doctor I can tell you're like really really stressful I mean I just look in your eyes and I just see stress right there I suggest like just one day ditch school <laughs> no, 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 no 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 I'm not no I'm serious it's okay just like ditch school just for one day, go to the park, somewhere quiet, and just gather your thoughts together. Why are you going to Mission Hills College? Um, to apply for um, classes for summer session. So why are you, what class are you going to register for? Um, psychology. <laughs> Not just going to college. Isn't that great? How fabulous. I'm gonna hate myself for this, like, in like two to three years from now. Why? Because, dude, I should not. I should not be going to college now. I should be enjoying myself. I was talking to my friend like a couple of days ago, and he told me like the worst thing. He told me I was mature. You know, like. Why is that bad? Because he, he told me like I was, you know, I was. He felt like I wasn't an adult, you know, like, and it's a bad thing because like. You're only a kid once, you know, and you're an adult all your life. I'm majoring in education. I want to teach deaf children still. I feel like that's not really my calling from God yet, so I'm open for new um, ideas um, that maybe God really wants me to go into. And as much as I want to teach deaf children and be part of the world, I just have never felt like that's really what I was called to do. And I'm still waiting for that calling, that understanding of where God wants me to be in this world. And um, I have my ears wide open. I'm having such a hard time believing that I'm going to the school, Piedmont, where the majority is Caucasian. And going from the minority to being the majority is such a big deal to me because I'm so used to being the minority and getting along with everybody. I love everybody. I don't have a problem with anybody. I don't know. I'm like also kind of worried about in Georgia when I go out there that I'm not going to fit in, you know, and I'm a white girl. I'm very, a very white looking white girl, um, but I just don't feel like I fit in an all white school doesn't work for me. Nothing against white kids because I'm one and I live with my sister and I have white friends. That's not it at all. It's just weird. Are you still going to go to college? Yeah. I wanted to go to Cal State Northridge. It has the biggest um, handicapped services and they remodeled it too. At least oh, the one so the school. And then because we're we're definitely I'm trying to get I'm kids the the kids the into the world, so I'd like to pick them. Oh, wow. You know, the I plan to, uh, to go to um, a two-year college and then transfer to um, UCLA. I'm getting my associate's degree in liberal arts and my bachelor's degree in sociology 
getting my master's degree, so we have been a safe Hi, Kendra, how are you? What, what did you used to do before the accident that you're not able to do now? Well, I can't find the pocket. That is, oh, that is more difficult for you. How, how is riding? Um, <laughs> I ride with my left hand, so yeah. it's a little slower. When did you want to start at Santa Monica College? This summer. This summer? Yeah. <laughs> summer is six weeks long. It's very, very fast. A lot of our students with disability do not take classes in the summer because the pace is too fast. What did you want to take in the summer? Um, psychology one and elementary Spanish one. Well, that's eight units of classes. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I think, I think if you want to take a summer class, um, Kendra, you should start by taking just one class. I think it's going to be hard for me to get a job. Will I get one? Yes. I think I'm going to be, um... Nothing like the world, the real world, expected. Yeah. Hi. They need to know your issues with the speakers or the sound and stuff from last year. Just need a monitor. That's it. Oh, it's just the monitor. The speakers the okay. 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 okay, we we need two more slaves. Two more slave speakers. You're not going with that at all. I'm sorry. Slave? They're all white people. They're all white people. They're all white people. It's those white people. Since this is a good thing. Oh, it is? It is. It's a good thing. Got to tell me I'm in trouble. Dang, I'm in trouble. My organization, I belong to an organization called Association of California School Administrators. And every year, uh, we um, recommend a student for an award. And it's kind of one of those awards for students who kind of overcome a lot of problems in their lives and, you know, are kind of straightening themselves out and are kind of on the right track now. So what did you think about the whole thing then? It was so neat. We were up there for like two seconds and I thought they were gonna like talk about us. I thought that was the whole point, you know? And they didn't and they just talked about other stuff and they say, oh, these are other people and then show that little clip and they're like, okay, goodbye. I wasn't expecting like, damn, $30 million, but I was expecting like something, you know? And they didn't give me anything. Axis salutes Carla Hernandez and the Region 16 support team who chose her for this honor. Waste of time. I thought it was gonna be like a nice thing. No? Yeah. I can't wait till I get my liberal arts back. What is that? Mm, at the awards, senior awards ceremony. Are you going? Well, I have to get the plaque. I don't want to skimp out on the plaque there. I mean, if I'm getting awarded something, I might as well show up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome all of you to the 2000 year Senior Awards and Teacher of the Year. I invited the faculty to nominate that student who had so endeared him or herself to that teacher that these students really were all stars in many, many ways. Danielle Strickland. <laughs> Danielle is an image of joy and radiant. She demonstrates virtues. She's very respectful to all and faces challenges with a humble attitude.
is represented here tonight, and they'll generally give approximately three awards. When they say Academic Achievement Board, the word board should be your tip, that that student's name will be engraved as the top student. He is a most unusual young man, <laughs> unwilling to accept the obvious because it's too mundane. He voraciously devours books, treatises, anything with which to explore an idea or belief, and then draws his own conclusions. An independent thinker, he's off to UCLA, and let's welcome Boris Drake. I'm gonna miss these kids, and the rest of you too. <laughs> we only have a handful who are really, really smart. Thank you. And Boris. And Boris is Boris. What Boris. high school student anywhere in this country would choose to read James Joyce's Ulysses? And as a consequence, they tend to feel themselves superior. Yeah, right. <laughs> Give us some credit. <laughs> it becomes a huge problem for these kids when they go to the university and they lose their thrones and they will all and they're all dethroned. Am I prepared uh, for life after high school? Uh, this is a strange question. Yes. No. Do I feel prepared? Yes. Do I want to be? No. Oh, high school is, and regular school is baloney. High school did not prepare me for the real world. Yes, I feel prepared for life after high school. I'm going to college. Like, I, I will have no life. Actually, let me answer that question again. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm having problems with that. You need to have time management, be organized, and prepared. Though That's like the key to life. Yes and no. I'm scared, but I feel it's time for me to be out of L.A. I want to just be a cop on the streets for a year and then I want to become a parole officer. Do I want to face life after high school? No. But can I? I can. I think it's pretty safe to assume that it's about 10,000 times more responsibility. That's what the next step is, that's what the ne next test is, and there's a lot of obstacles, and I think I can handle it. I feel like it didn't prepare me enough, but maybe it's because, like, I didn't realize all the shit that went around the world, you know? Yeah, I I'm prepared for life. Inside of high school, outside of high school, whatever. Beyond high school, before high school, whatever, I'm prepared for life. Tile project, I believe that's what they call this. Like we were using maps and stuff, so I made like a map of Los Angeles. Like and it's on fire and like, like everything is fucked up. You got drug addicts and destruction and earthquakes. You know, Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get like an A on this shit. So where is exactly that you're going to school? California College of Arts and Crafts. They gave me a full scholarship. So. They gave you a full right now? <laughs> yeah. A word? Yeah. This is like the freak capital of the world. I'll, I'll point them out to you if you can't notice them yourself. <laughs> this is like the hippie mecca of the world. <laughs> we love you and check it out. These are the best bags you can get. They're all hemp. And for a low price, it's 99 cent. Come to tour when he's broke. It's like more people have like fried and done hallucinogens and just felt at peace with themselves and everything here at this park. I did. <laughs> I was into the gangs, I was into the smoking weed mostly and drinking. I didn't care if I lived or died, I thought that I could die any day. I remember fighting with my girlfriend because she didn't want to kiss me to mess up her lipstick. And I was tripping because I didn't know if I see her the next five minutes, you know, you get to get smoked and doing whatever. I, I was carrying a gun to school. 
Unity was looking up to all that, you know. I got involved in like the gang mentality and all that type of stuff, you know. I was out there banging and shit, you know. I looked up to my cousin Angel a lot, so I, I started emulating him and doing what he was getting lost into, you know. And I kind of got lost into it myself. Me and Unity, we've been through so much shit. His life was a little bit fucked up. From the example I set, I sent him from bad, prepared him for bad, and sent him out into worse. I'm not gonna knock what I went through because I was supposed to go through it, obviously, because I went through it, you know? That was training for me, you know? Because obviously I have a lot to say, and I gotta be able to handle, you know what I'm saying? The consequences for what I say, you know? I can say something, man, and somebody might try to get me for that, you know what I'm saying? I gotta be able to handle that. Every single thing that you go through in your life is a lesson, man. That helps you to evolve, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it, you know? This is my mother. She taught me like, most of the things that I know and that helped me survive in this world. And, you know, that helped me know, you know, that everything is, is, is bigger than just being in the flesh. And, you know, a lot of things. Mm. Taught me about my spirit. He's had his sights on this day. Yeah. Uh, for a long time. And I always knew it was coming because I was his mother and I had to prepare him for it. I know that I'm gonna cry and everything because there's a certain cutting of a cord between us for him to fully embrace his power. And I'm so proud, so proud of my son. So proud of my son. And there's a fence between, we've never had a fence between us and anything at this store. If you put a fence up there, it's got to be as high as the other fence. I mean, it's friggin' crazy. Those people climbed over our teachers. We have teachers that say we won't work ever again. They have parents crawling over their heads. Over, and that fence was four feet. From what I'm seeing, it's just like fence here, fence there, fence here. It's like, it looks ugly. But we're trying it's the only way of controlling the, the only way of controlling the parents because we had such an awful time last year. They do not have have any control. The kids were fabulous. It was the yeah. parents who were nuts. Out out Last year, the senior breakfast was 10 bucks. Okay, okay, 10. Senior mugs. Senior mugs. Yeah, senior mugs. Senior mugs. Senior mugs. Senior mugs. Oh, the diploma cover is so nice. 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 Everybody gets some kind of pictures. No. Yeah, you got pictures. I didn't get a single picture this year, and I'm not getting one. Now that's foolish. That is not foolish. It's foolish. Yeah, it's smart. <laughs> it's nice to look back and see what you were like at certain points in your life. Doctor, I have pictures, like, plenty of pictures. I have a documentation. I have a documentation. <laughs> I have a documentary. <laughs> I'm boycotting everything. Boycotting any sort of expenditure of money in senior year. Plus, I didn't pay the exorbitant amount of money, $70 for a freaking gown and a cap, and I didn't pay that much money uh, yet, and I don't think I'm going to pay because I think it's over. So I'd have to walk across stage naked, and there's a bunch of kids I don't even know that are going to be graduating with me, and, you know, the kids that I do know, I don't want to associate with them anyway, so why would I want to walk across stage? It's not a loss to humanity that I'm not going to on stage, and, and people give me the, oh my, really? Uh, look, and that's, I think, highly inappropriate because that's what I've been getting for a whole number of things. So it goes, the melodrama of high school. to myself that I can be independent and you're just gonna have to understand. You've had seven teenagers before me. So what? You have to understand what teenagers I are. haven't had a teenager like you ever. I need to just just get away. What do I do when you leave? You're, oh, just sit there and put my thumb. I don't want to be by myself.
fixing my relationship with my dad is going good. And that's really important. I don't want to leave here with, with things the way they were. I want to call my dad. My dad, I, I just forgot everything I told him. I missed him and I wanted to see him. He said to stop lying to myself and just um, face it, not to think that he was ever going to be there for me or my sisters again. And that the only thing he remembers from those 17 years he was with me is um, pain. You know, that's, that's kind of There's a lot of issues we have to settle on. I don't want to leave like pissed at them. And I'm not. I'm a pizza, right? And I have everything. I have everything I, I'm okay with. I'm surrounded by people I love and who love me. But there's always that one piece missing of the pie. And that's my dad. Like, if he decided that he didn't want to see me when I found him, which I'm going to do, the only thing that would hurt me is knowing that he's probably in more pain than I am to not want to see his kid. My mom called him and he answered the phone. He was like, well, who's this? And she's like, this is Sue. She's like, Jennifer really wants to see you. She just, she doesn't want anything from you. She just wants to see you and talk to you. And he's like, well, let me think about it. And we haven't talked to him since. It's not giving me false hope. But it's, it's, you know, definitely bringing up feelings that have been, you know, under a bunch of fucking rocks for a long time. And I'm not going to get all excited and be like, well, I'm going to meet my dad and then not ever hear from him. It's not worth it. It would have been nice for him to see me graduate. You know, hey, that's my kid. I haven't seen her in like, what, 12 years, but <laughs> she just graduated. It, it would have been a bonding moment, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. I'm speaking to you on the morning of the day that my fellow Fairfax students have been so diligently awaiting. <laughs> it is the morning of Fairfax graduation day. I think that the only work of literature that really needs to be quoted was um, the book of the Bible and it's um, book 22 of the Old Testament called the Ecclesiastes. And the Ecclesiastes was <clears throat> written by uh, Solomon. He saw an old man and he said, Old man, this was a merchant, old man, might, might you have a ring that makes a sad man happy and a happy man sad? And the old man said, wait here. He took a simple gold ring from, from one of his pouches and went in the back to engrave it and engraved the ring and, and uh, gave it to uh, the saddened uh, advisor. And the advisor looked in the ring and the inside inscription and and instantly became, became very happy. And he brought the ring to Solomon the next day, and the ring that was given him made the very happy Solomon turn very, very sad. And the message in the ring was, this too shall pass. And everything that we feel will pass. Nothing is permanent because happiness will turn into sadness and sadness will in turn turn into happiness. side, come as close as the air, share in a memory of gray, and wander in my words, dream about the pictures that I play, of changes, green leaves of summer turn red in to brown and to yellow they fade And then they have to die Trapped within the circle time parade Of changes Scenes of my young years were warm in my mind Visions of shadows that shine Till one day I returned And 
and found they were the victims of the vines of changes. The world spinning madly, it drifts in the dark, swings through a hollow of haze, a race around the stars. A journey through the universe ablaze with changes. Magic will glow in the night. All fears of the forest are gone. But when the morning breaks, they're swept away by golden drops of dawn of changes. Passions will part. To a strange melody, as fires will sometimes burn cold, like petals in the wind. We're puppets to the silver strings of souls of changes. Your tears will be trembling now. We're somewhere else. One last cup of wine we will pour, and I'll kiss you one more time, and leave you on the rolling river shores of changes. So sit by my side, come as close as the air. Share in a memory of gray, wander in my words, dream about the pictures that I play of changes. Thank you for watching senior year and seeing all of us students act like retards over our year. And bye to the camera for my last time. Quick, call the number. My people are in trouble. 911, send help on the double. Tomorrow may never come, so today remain humble. In Babylon will crumble when I ring the words that rumble. Some people living low, some people living high. Most people that I know, working class, nine to five. But you, you need to focus. Your camera lens is broken. I took a snapshot of a homeless asking for a token. My people bored of jumping off the side of the bridge. Economy be boosted because of immigrants. America keeps building off the future of our kids. And jobless, single parents, underpaid teachers, and overworked immigrants. So I take it to the next level of defense. I grip the mic tight, spit words that make sense. Life is too short to forever be a rest. I keep bringing you the message, giving you the lesson. Keep your hands bobbing and your mind still spinning. My form of expression, resist against oppression On the front lines, catch me, represent The microphone invention, injecting all the children With eyes to paralyze all the bad that's Then I bring the 2020 vision I can see across the ocean And on the other side, it's, it's the same notion The corrosion goes unspoken And leaves my heart broken From old school to new school From preschool to high school Public education, brief the working class Working all our lives with their futures that don't last And those living fat, a small percentage My people breaking back Waste checks in this game you're playing with the head is red. It's a blue gold press and we all got next.
much more of senior year at PBS Online. Hear all the music, talk about this episode, and follow the stories you'll only find online at pbs.org. To order the entire Senior Year series on video cassette or the companion CD to the series featuring Oso Motley, Ani DeFranco, The Coup, and others, call PBS Home Video at 1-800-PLAY-PBS. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, and additional support from Latino Public Broadcasting, National Endowment for the Arts, National Asian American Telecommunications Association, and others. A complete list is available from PBS. And contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. This is PBS.